Hi, I'm Pete Spate, GB Halfpipe Skier, and this is my top five mental tips on how to prepare for your next skiing challenge. Yeah, I think with routine, uh, it can be really useful to keeping everything consistent and worry-free, whether that's your morning warm-up and routine or make sure that all your equipment is in order. So just you guys clear ahead as possible when it comes to the challenge of if it's comp day or you're learning a new trick in the park or taking on a new run, and all you got to, to worry about is that task at hand in front of you. Visualisation is massive when you're learning new tricks. Um, if you can just sit, see it in your head, then you can do it in real life. So it's about bridging that gap, working through your head what you want to get out of the run and what you need to do. And when it comes to dropping in, it's about having a clear head as possible, uh, focus but clear head. And all the best runs that I've done have been when I've forgotten the run. I can't even remember the tricks, but you come out at the bottom of the pipe and you know that you've nailed it. Yeah, riding to, to music can definitely be really sick. Um, it all feeds into what's going to get you into that headspace and in that zone, comfortable, happy, chilled, to uh, you know ride your best. Um, for, for, for me, I've got I've got a mix of, of playlists. So sometimes it's smooth, chilled hit hip, hip hop, or sometimes it's like more hype tunes if I want to really like send it. So it just depends what mood you're in. Um, but it can be really really useful for sure. Yeah, failures and setbacks comes with the territory. I think like in any sport, um, with falls, with, with injuries, with whatever it happens to be. But as long as you approach that as just a learning process, growth mindset, and um, just a way to, to move forward really and keep chilled about it and just focus, and focus on what you're doing, then you can get through it. And uh, yeah, you come out the other, the other side and once you've moved forward, it all seems, it, it all looks chilled when you look back. So motivation is definitely a massive part of this sport. You know, a lot of times when you're on the road or when there's setbacks where it's getting tough, where you've got to dig deep and uh, keep going. And for me, like the feeling of landing new tricks, the feeling of making the, those breakthroughs when you do is what keeps me going because you've got to be the sort of person that, that wants to push yourself all, all, all the time and constantly reaching for more because that's the only, the only way that you're going to take the risks and, and really keep driving forward.